time suck. <laughs> time dead. Um, I have a new mustache. I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> I just had the last comedian talk about his silly mustache. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> right, they're gonna think I'm a pedophile too. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what I look like. Like some sort of like Super Mario, like Super Hungover Mario, or <laughs> Super Unshaped Mario. I don't know. It's Super Mario. <laughs> Super Mario. I'm not sure what it is yet. Um, I've been living here for, I've been living in Berlin now for like five years. I realized that like about six months ago, five years, and I was like, all right, that's cool. That's, that's a good milestone. Like five years ago, I like, get myself something nice, you know, get myself something I haven't got before. So um, I went and got um, uh, a, a Melbourne, I think it's pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I got a visa and everything. I was like, go on, spoil yourself. <laughs> Live a little, you deserve it. Um, I know like everyone thinks that their visa situation is interesting, and it's not. Um, but my visa situation, uh, I think it's mildly interesting. Let me explain to you. I have what is called the artist visa. That means I can live in Berlin for three years, but I can only make money from art. Spoiler alert, very hard to do, <laughs> very hard to make taxable income from art. The lady at the outside of the she was like, okay, so you can live here for three years, but you can only make money from art. Do you have any questions? <laughs> yes, I do. Question one. What is art? <laughs> you see? She was like, what do you mean? I'm like, okay. Well, like, all my artist friends, they all work at this bar. You know, can I work at the bar too? She's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so sorry. It's like a cocktail bar. You know, cocktail's a very artistic beverage, I, I think. <laughs> She's like, no. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I'm from Australia, like I said. I'm from Melbourne, though. You know, the coffee capital of, you know, maybe the world. And, um... <laughs> Not that I had anything to do with that. Um, but I asked her, like, can I, can I make coffee? And she was like, no. Like, oh, oh, sorry, but what if I do the... Uh, latte art? What if I do latte art? And she said, no. I said, latte art's not art? And she said, no. I said, how do you know so much about art from working at the outside of the I got time to be wasted here. Uh, <laughs> you know, once I sort of knew I had to be, so I started getting a bit cheeky with it. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right try this one, try this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, can I work at Subway? She said, why? Why, why do you think you work at Subway? So, a Subway might have caught, no, I, don't, I don't know if you know this, but at Subway, they call, it, they call their employees sandwich artists. <laughs> I agree! You're making something! <laughs> After a while she like finally like got mad at me. She was like, listen, David. <laughs> do, do you want the visa or not? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes I do. Yes, I do, sorry. I was just being uh, artistic, I guess I, <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the one good thing about having to make money from art is uh, that when my mum calls me, and she does, and says, David, when are you going to get a real job? Now I can say, I can't. <laughs> Bad, right? She's like, why can't you? I'm like, oh, I don't know, because the German government believes in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check real quick. Yep, still got it. Okay. Uh, this song, you know, I got, I, I'm, a, I'm a composer. I do a lot of jingles for like uh, Chinese and Japanese television commercials. <laughs> you know, art. Um, <laughs> She did say that that counted. I was like, I think there's a bit more art in the Subway sandwich, to be honest. But, um, I get booked for really weird jobs. I got booked recently, it was like this real corporate gig to, to write seven funny songs about the environment. <laughs> and so I, I, I asked them, uh, okay, so like, how long do the songs need to be? And uh, he was like, oh, that doesn't matter. Like, okay. uh, any like topics you want me to cover or anything? He's like, no, 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 just like whatever. 
I was like, all right, any, any sort of direction at all? And, and he leans in because, honestly, they don't even have to be that good. We just need seven. Like, you have captured the corporate mindset so well. The song's about the environment. <laughs> Nothing uglier than a tree. <laughs> We've already got so many. How many more do we need? There's nothing uglier than a tree. They're all brown and bumpy and sticky. Because of those sticks. <laughs> for a hike, but there was nowhere to park. I went to the forest, there was nowhere to park. I went to my local park, but there was nowhere to park. My car! presentation on the use of satire and comedy to promote, promote climate change awareness. <laughs> he flew me to Cyprus to save the climate. <laughs> That's a true story. Uh, anyway. <laughs> this next song is not about the environment. This next song is about my girlfriend. Um, sorry ladies. And men, let's not be exclusive. Uh, this song I wrote for my girlfriend after I um, disappointed her. Um, Sexually. <laughs> Where to begin? Uh, <laughs> I, just, 
I got so much done. It was crazy, bro. I got so much done. I would like every morning just get up, you know, straight back to bed. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, was not, it was nothing on. Uh, <laughs> I did, I, I did start a punk rock band with a few friends uh, called, called The Fuckheads. <laughs> I think that's the most punk rock name for a punk rock band ever. And we wrote, we wrote a bunch of songs. Uh, some of them not very good. This one is less not good. <laughs> songs about all the very famous fuckheads throughout history. This song is called But Jesus Was Cool. <laughs> for your host, Dumb Man, to sing, and all the guys here at Cosmic Comedy. It's a great show, man. Especially on time, guys. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Ruben, Brian, Neil, everyone. I think, um, they told you, you know, bring your drinks back and everything like that. I think you know all the rules. I think there's one rule that Dave forgot to mention, so I think I'll just fill you guys in now in uh, song form. Hello, my name is Dave. Thanks for coming to the Before the night is over, there's something I'd like you to know. There will be no refunds. <laughs> Already got your money, gonna spend it on what I love. <laughs> Money gotta spend it on beer and drugs. <laughs> I might be a 